to Andy's Garage, I'm Andy Phillips. Today I'm going to show you how to test a throttle position sensor in your vehicle. So let's go ahead and get started. To complete this test, all you need is a multimeter, one that um, can obviously track voltage, but also ohms. So that way we can track um, everything on the sensor to diagnose it properly. Now before we start this video, just want to make everyone aware that this video is for use on the throttle body that is the mechanical, like this kind here, where it has the cable. If you have one of the uh, electronic type, then that method will not work. Next, what we want to do is we want to locate the actual throttle position sensor. So they're very easy to locate. You basically find your air intake duct where it comes into your, um, to your throttle body, and it's mounted on the throttle body. So you have your idle air control valve and your throttle position sensor, which are normally located right there in that vicinity. So on this particular vehicle, here's our throttle body here. The throttle position sensor is right here on top. So this is the actual component that we're going to be testing. What you want to do, because these should have approximately 5 volts of power running into them, so what you want to do is we want to remove the harness. Go ahead and pull that out. And that's what we're going to be testing. So we have three, three leads going into it. And what we're going to do now is we're going to test them to find out which one is the power coming in, which is going to be approximately 5 volts. So let's go ahead and get our multimeter so we can test that. Next thing you want to do is you want to turn the car's power in the on position, not start the car, just turn the power on. So that way we have voltage running to the, to the actual throttle position sensor. Okay, so we have our multimeter. We're going to go ahead and put it on 20 volts. We're going to take these leads here and we need to then figure out which one of these is our current in, our voltage. We're looking at approximately 5 volts coming in. Then we're also going to have to test for our signal wire and our ground. So we went ahead and grounded our multimeter. You can either ground it on the chassis of the vehicle or on the battery. We have our positive here, so let's test now. And we're looking for approximately 5 volts. And there we have it. So that's this one here. This is our, our current in, so that's our, our grayish wire right there. That's our current. So now we're going to go ahead and set this to ohms. We're going to measure for continuity so we can track. There we go. Now we're looking to test the other two. You don't want to um, touch this one here because that's our current in. So now we're testing these two for our signal and for our grounds. So what we're looking for is ohm reading. And there we have it. There we have it. So, bottom one is ground, the top one is current in, middle one is signal. So the ground is black, gray is the volts coming in, and then the middle of the blue one is the signal wire. So now that we've identified those, let's reconnect to the throttle position sensor itself so we can test that. With the ground lead on the multimeter grounded, we're going to test the voltage in first. I'm just going to probe that in. That should be reading around 5 volts. You can see there we're at 4.6, so we know that's good. Signal's coming in. Now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to come to the one underneath, which is your signal wire, and see the voltage coming into the signal. Generally, you want to be between 0.2 and 1.5, but some throttle position sensors read as low as 0.13, so this is good. So now, as we take this, and we're going to go ahead and push this down with the, the, um, the actual throttle cable. So we're going to come over here, grab this, and as we, you can see that, we're going to move that down. The voltage should increase. So as we go down slowly, you can see the voltage is going up. And at full, it should be all the way up to the almost the five. Let me, I can't get it all the way down. Back there, let me do it here. And there you see it. It's at four point, just under 4.5 at open, which is right. And as we come back slowly, you can see it returning. So we know that this throttle position sensor is working good. If you're not getting this kind of a response, then the throttle position sensor is bad and would need to be replaced. All right, well, this pretty much wraps up this video on how to test a throttle position sensor. 
I hope this video helped you out. Please send me any questions, any comments. I would love to hear from you. As always, I appreciate all of the support. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.